I think uh, for the developing world, certainly a big issue is how we move beyond uh, universal primary access at the lowest levels of education into increased access to uh, schooling beyond uh, primary school and more particularly uh, technical, vocational and higher education. And then I added to that, of course, is the question of equity because uh, uh, when you talk of developing countries, you uh, may have not equal access for those who are in rural uh, communities, not equal access for the poor, or unequal access in particular for females. Linked to that as well is a subject in my country we've had to deal with, and I know many other countries in the world, and that's the question of quality. Finally, I suppose, uh, uh, really ensuring um, that there's a clear link between uh, education offered to young people and opportunities beyond schooling. As we've traversed all the centuries and the decades, we've had to think more carefully about what we do to keep young people enthusiastic, to reach those who are not reached, to ensure uh, 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 that uh, uh, excluded groups enjoy uh, opportunity. So innovation, I think, uh, uh, is uh, an example of educationists really thinking in new and different ways about how to respond to particular contexts. We've developed a program called Karigude, which means let us learn, which takes literacy to the deepest recesses of South Africa's uh, 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 population. What it did was develop multilingual uh, uh, material, so it's a local material developed by local education writers. Uh, it then used young people uh, as volunteers who were spread throughout the country. They go out into every community, church halls are used, uh, classrooms, city halls. It was a, a mobile, in a sense, a literacy project that would get you wherever you are and you would have access to material fully funded that is accessible to you. And I think it's been a very important intervention where millions of people who had no opportunity for literacy now enjoy uh, this opportunity. When one thinks about a forum such as WISE, and its potential contribution. One goes back again uh, to the usual conferences that we have as the education sector, where we're really asking, how well are we doing? What are the problems? How do we solve the problems? Very rarely do we call you to a conference to say, tell us about your innovation. Tell us about the impact you're having. That's a different kind of forum for educationists, and I think it's the reason for this participation, which is growing each year.